hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we learned that how we can add the events in the calendar js so now the time is to drag and drop these events so we can easily update uh, these events using drag and drop so for now we don't have any functionality to drag and drop so let's uh, enable this functionality and uh, uh, implement it also on the backend side so this is the select event right so let's uh, put a comma here and uh, here you need to uh, make uh, this true so you need to define a uh, property here so let me get this property from there so it's uh, the property name would be the editable true right so it's a uh, editable true and here now we are uh, able to uh, edit the events so give it a refresh and uh, yes now we are going to update these events right so we successfully uh, edit uh, updated these events but so these are uh, adding only on the runtime so if i uh, give it a refresh it will roll back them right so it's rolled back so it means that we need to also implement the, uh, them on the server side so let's implement this on the server side so here we are uh, uh, make this editable true so now the time is to uh, call another helper uh, event drop so this is an event so this will be uh, responsible for uh, drag and drop right so here we need to add a console let me check that is it uh, working or not so it's a uh, event save this one give it a refresh and check that in the console and drag and yes it's trending so it means that our uh, drag function is uh, draw function is working so now the time is to get this uh, id okay uh, i want to get this uh, event uh, oops event to uh, id and uh, then what other i want to get the start date okay so uh, we, go, we are going to get this from this uh, moment we are first converting this into a uh, format because we are saving this into the database so like we did this in our uh, add this functionality so let me uh, copy this from there so for time saving and paste it here right so we are getting uh, the start date and end date right now the time is to send uh, an ajax call so we implemented this ajax call here so let me grab this ajax call from there and uh, paste it here right so now we are uh, sending this on this uh, so I will implement this later. So this is a delete request, and uh, I'm sending only a uh, start date and end date because when we drag the events, it automatically get this uh, start date and end date, and we are going to replace this date with the existing one. So in this, uh, we don't want to display any events, right? So here we uh, can implement this. Are you sure want to, right? So uh, then let me make this uh, response, okay? And uh, here in the error function, we don't want to show this for now. So you can uh, display any sweet alerts and stuff like that. But for demonstration purposes, I'm uh, displaying the error, right? So in the console. So this is, uh, we are sending this uh, request and let me create a new route here. So copy this one, paste it here. So this one is a delete request and uh, let me make this so uh, destroy. Okay, and uh, we are accepting an ID here. And this one, these two ones are also destroy, not destroy. Okay, it's why I'm doing this mistake, destroy. Okay, so copy this so uh, destroy and go to the calendar and create this destroy method. And so here we are having this public function and just try and here accept an id because we are getting this id so return this id here right so save this id and uh, go here so i'm doing this uh, in a very fast way because this are these are very simple example of laravel so you are doing this on the regular basis so that's why i'm doing this very faster so this one is a uh, destroy okay and we are accepting any uh, an parameter of id so here we are passing uh, we will pass this uh, uh, parameter here right like uh, id but we are uh, in the 
javascript so let's make this an empty here so we'll append this here right so let's uh, add a quotation here and slash right and then here we need to add this so uh, id this id right this is the event id and we are uh, added the desk try here we had uh, we leave this empty because this will um, throw exception that you need to uh, fill the id here so we are adding this id here so that's why we leave this empty if to leave this empty it will grab this from there right so uh, we also added this start it and end it so let's go there we added this uh, here so we also returning it's there so let's give it a refresh and check that okay so let's drag this and yes we drag this but it's throwing the error start is not defined i think i misspell it so let me go back why i'm doing this again and again. oh why it's because we need to set this event dot start right because we have the event object and give it a refresh and yes drag the event and yes it's trending so it means that we are getting the response from the server so response is undefined so let me go there and check that undefined oh id is not passing so this id and if we are hitting this route or not let me check the localhost calendar destroy and id oh id is not passing exactly right so event dot id it's good why it's not passing this so uh, id so let me console this out that we are returning the exact id or not so give it a refresh go to the console and drag any events so it's returning undefined so let me uh, console this event first okay and then we'll grab this event id right maybe it's a uh, event id grab this and uh, what is the id of this event start it end it and stuff like that but we don't have any id so let me check that oh, what's happening behind the scene why it's not turning the id so it's uh, start it and it so yes it's returning like this so we need to pass the id i think i forgot to pass this an id here so let me go here yes i forgot to pass this id here so let me pass this uh, id here right and uh, then this id will be passed to pass there id save this one so when i will uh, give it a refresh so id will be assigned to this so let's grab this and uh, yes the id is there so now we are returning this uh, id so let me remove uh, these uh, the li this line okay and now our id is there so let's search this id in the uh, first uh, it's uh, booking okay booking and uh, this one is a booking model so find this id here okay and uh, if we did not find this so make this uh, book what the hell is okay booking and here i want to return response okay and this response would be the json and we want to display a message of error and this error is uh, uh, what is the error uh, unable to look at right so let me i think i did not mention this so enable enable to locate the event okay event not event id and uh, here we are passing the 404 for not found exception right so if we find this we are going to return this uh, booking right so uh, we are re uh, returning this back because we want to uh, remove this from the calendar right so oh man i'm doing this in a wrong way when i'm going to what the hell is this i'm doing this in a very wrong way
uh, this is uh, not to uh, uh, destroy stuff so i'm doing this in a wrong way so let me make this patch because we are going to update this when we drag this so we are going to update this so let me make this also like update and let me make this in the controller here route and also need this in the controller so this would be uh, update stuff okay go to the controller and here i need to also update and this one is update patch and this one would be the also uh, not update it would be a patch right so let's go here give it a refresh and check that is it uh, working or not click on this and uh, yes it's uh, updated so let's give it a refresh and it's deleting so we are del not deleting so stay unable to locate this and when we locate this we are going to update this right so let me go there and do update this right we have a booking and we want to make this update right update and here uh, which thing we want to update so we want to update the start date right so what is the start date so we are getting this start date from the uh, start date okay and uh, uh, let me copy this and start here so this is the end date so end date so this will be uh, this will update this both right and uh, let's return the response so response and what response we want to on this so event to uh, updated right save this one so we are uh, here so let me uh, grab another parameter of a uh, request and this one is a request object request uh, here request right and we are receiving uh, mm -hmm. start date and end date right so go here and uh, give it a refresh so it will now it will update the events click on this hadi test and yes it says event updated so let's give it a refresh so it will not uh, uh, go back because it's updated so it's uh, yes it's updated on the backend side so if i grab this so it's also updated great so it's uh, successfully working so we can uh, also display the you can also display the sweet alerts here right so let's go here and get the sweet alerts okay so it's a very simple js library so uh, let me grab this and get started uh, i don't have much uh, time because i'm wasting your time uh, because uh, you can do this in your own stuff but i'm doing this okay so let me add this cdn here so this CDN, okay, I added this CDN. So let's go to there and grab this, uh, this one, right? So let me copy this. I want to display this uh, uh, where I need to display this here, right? So good job, event updated, okay? Event uh, updated successfully, okay? So give it a refresh here, yeah, not this one. Okay, and uh, let's uh, ref uh, update this event. And yes, now it's letting that event updated successfully. So hopefully you learned a lot from this tutorial and this is uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, and yes, it's updating. So this uh, tutorial is a little bit longer from the previous one. So. Uh, let's bear this so hopefully you understood and understand everything so i'll meet you in the next video bye bye